So sunglasses, probably one of my favorite things to talk about. If you guys have been here for long, you probably know that already. If you haven't, then check out some of the other videos, subscribe, follow along. We're all about cool glasses here and sunglasses, the different lens technologies, and there's some cool frames and limited edition stuff along the way. So be sure to check that out. But as far as sunglasses, what I want to talk about this time is something a little bit different. So I am a big fan of using sunglasses in non-traditional ways. And what I mean by that, and I've been posting this a lot on some of the other social platforms recently, is we've been doing this kind of a rainy day, sunny glasses type thing. And what that amounts to is there are various filters out there. And I have a couple lenses I've been messing around with here that I have from a while back, which are kind of a tangerine and a red and a blue. And this is really a great way to show what I'm talking about. We all know what gray and brown lenses look like, right? Gray, everything stays very neutral. Brown adds a little bit of contrast, but it's still a little bit too dark for really adverse weather conditions, like really foggy days, hazy days, super heavy rain with dark cloud cover, which is kind of what we've got going on today. Nah. Yeah. Uh, Horrible, I know, but what can we do? We can't control the weather, but we can control what we see when the weather isn't what we want it to be. So let's run out here for just a second. And now we'll see. So <laughs> of course the weather never cooperates. Now it's actually a little bit brighter than it was when I came out here. But so of course we've got this very meh, it's a very meh day, right? But if we throw, so this is gonna be that kind of a medium orange and you'll see if the camera doesn't adapt too quickly. There you go. So that you can see brightens things up pretty significantly and still knocks down that reflection just a touch on the pavement, but really brings you back to almost normal day weather which I think is kind of cool. What it amounts to is because of the clouds, you've got a much more dispersed light coming down from the sky. So with all of that more blue spectrum light, you warm that back up a touch with these orange lenses. And this tangerine is a little bit better at demonstrating that because it doesn't really cast a strange hue on things. And you'll see, there you go. It adds almost exactly enough for these kind of conditions. Whoops. Wrong side of that lens. There we go. So you can see, you know, it makes the greens pop a little bit. You bring those reds out nicely. The little Sierra hopping out of the corner there. And really overall, just warms things back up to what you would see on a normal day. And in fact, let's go this other way here. So more grassy, right? You've got that nice green pop of it. But then you can see as we bring that lens over it, it just brings it back just a hair. And that's kind of the short of that. Now, I don't have a yellow handy, but I have posted other videos of yellows and we'll link that around here somewhere if I can find it. But essentially what the yellow does, it brightens up that haze even further. And I just threw that lens across the ground. So enjoy that. Thank goodness for all of us. That is not somebody's prescription lens and just a trash lens that I was experimenting with. And apparently I need to experiment with my garage door, so <laughs> that's the thing we're gonna do. Now, the other side of this, I mentioned I had a couple different colors here. So that blue is more of just softens everything up a little bit. That's kind of meant more for just fashion. It doesn't really do anything for you as far as darkness at that light shade. Now blue does have its uses. Actually, it's really good out on the water or around the water. Yeah, we're breaking all kinds of stuff today. Anyways, <laughs> blue has its use out on the water, but the yellows and oranges and ambers are really good for these kind of rainy, yucky, messy, mucky days that we all hate so much. A, it helps brighten everything up a little bit, but also it kind of gives that warm color tone our brains are used to seeing during the day which helps with the mood just a little bit now it's not anything significant or scientific so don't quote me on that and don't yell at me but yeah it, it just does help a little bit to brighten that back up and give you that more warm color tone that we're used to seeing now of course brighter blue spectrum light does provide that energy and exertion there is too much blue light of course as we know with computer use that's a whole other debate i'm not getting into today 
maybe another time. I've talked about it before just a little bit, and there's some other great videos. And in fact, there's another doctor I know that does have a really good video on blue light. I'll link that one down below. But outside of that, that's all I've got for foul weather glasses. Is that what we're going to call them? Eh. I'm gonna call them foul weather glasses. Yucky day glasses. You tell me you want the rainy day glasses. I got your back. Anyways, <laughs> you guys take care until next time. If you like this video and you don't already, follow, subscribe, like the video. Give me your feedback down below. Let me know if you've ever used lenses like these or what your thoughts are on this. Uh, you've seen a nice little sample in the video. So let me know what you think. I'll catch you guys next time.